The year is December 1st, 1977. A lady named Vivian Horner created Nickelodeon. But first, before we talk about Nickelodeon, what is Nickelodeon? Nickelodeon was $5 movie theaters for people to watch short films with no sound. Even though these movies are short lived by 1907, nearly 2 million Americans visit Nickelodeon. So by doing some homework, Nickelodeon was made for people to spend a nickel to watch movies. <sighs> I wish movies were like that this day. So remember I said Nickelodeon was found December 1st, 1977. But when you scroll down, take a look at this paragraph right here. Read it. Don't worry, I'll give you some time. You probably wondering, Bior, with this pinwheel, let's find out. Pinwheel. Okay, we did our homework with the 70s already. Let's move to the 90s. Have y'all ever heard of a show called The Rugrats? Yes, The Rugrats. We did? Okay. But have you ever heard of The Rugrats Theory, though? So I'm doing my homework on the theory, and it is stated. Chucky died in 1986 with his mother. That's sad. And that's why Chaz is nervous all the time. Tommy was a stillborn. That's why Stu consciously made toys in the basement. And the twins, they not really twins. They got aborted. Angelica couldn't figure out whether it was a boy or a girl, so she credited twins. And I know what you're thinking. Bill, what about regrets all grown up? I'm going to just leave this right here. I'm not going to go any further. I'm going to let y'all come to your own conclusion. Leave it down in the comment section. All right, let's talk about one of your favorite shows, SpongeBoy Ahoy. I used to watch this show all the time, especially the first three seasons. I imagine the universe with SpongeBob is called SpongeBoy Ahoy. Luckily, we have to thank the mop for copyrighting the name SpongeBoy. The show SpongeBoy Ahoy. Now nah, let me stop playing. <laughs> the show SpongeBob SquarePants also won an Emmy. Ah, good old kid choice awards, y'all. I remember this. This was our Grammy. This was our Oscar, bro. 
But did y'all know the Kid Choice Awards originated in 1987? It was called the ballot and co-hosts brian robbins dan schneider and debbie gibson hold on did he say dan schneider and debbie gibson dan schneider and debbie. hey i've been doing my homework on you and your friends don't worry though. i got something for y'all bro air here different when y'all been doing them little girls wrong bro kids choice with host tony danza and co-hosts brian robbins dan schneider and debbie gibson special guest mark summers and mackenzie aston charles barkley josie davis tiffany Brissett, the fat boys bobby the brain heenan stacy keenan jeremy miller danny pintaro and will wheaton featuring less lies ross urich and the jive bar and now the host of kids choice tony danza thank you Thank you. Oh, the kids' choice words in the 80s and the 90s was not for the weak, y'all. This right here is a group called New Kids on the Block. And the way they got treated, I don't waste it on nobody. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. For... All right, y'all, slime. Now, me as a kid, I never wanted to get slime. It was too cold. I seen the way people used to react. Fun fact, y'all, this is the first appearance slime being used in 1979. I tried to find a video. I couldn't find a video. If y'all have a video, I would love to see it. Can y'all please tag me in the link or something? <laughs> y'all, fun fact, Jasmine Guy was actually nominated for a Kid Choice Awards. The same baby playing on a different world? Yes, the more you know. Take advantage of a woman who's tied to the railroad tracks of academic distress. I hope you didn't give it to Candace. Candace, the kids gave the award to me, so don't even think about taking this award, all right? I don't want to have to take Noopy away from you again. Maybe next year, sis. Thanks again. start crazy i understand y'all this man made a lot of our childhood shows man let's go over them right quick right shall we all that ken and keller manager drake and josh zoe 101 i call it victorious game shakers henry danger so in 1997 i was discovered in a mall um and um basically we would go on auditions just to different places and eventually i got a manager and an agent um who would send me on audition calls for, you know, meaning, well, like little things like commercials and everything. And then uh, as I started growing in my career in 2007, my agent um, contacted me and my family about um, possibly getting a good Nickelodeon gig. And we um, flew out to LA uh, for this audition. And when we got there, it was um, a bunch of kids, probably like 200 kids. Um, and then these random agents hand selected specific kids that they liked or, you know, showed some charisma. And then um, once about 40 kids were selected, we were then told um, to take off our shoes and that we were each going to go into a room to show the producer, who is Dan Schneider, um, the, the tapes to see who he would want on the show. And um, of course, you know, we always ask like, oh, what do we have to do? Like, what would you like us to be doing once we're in there? And um, my agent told me, he, you know, he's like, it's gonna be like, a, he's like, you gotta just take off your shoes, just like run around in front of the camera, you know, talk about how much you love being barefoot. And at the time, even, you know, it was like, okay, that's weird. But I didn't think anything of it because I was still young. Right. My mom kind of looked around and was like, this is wrong. Um, there's just something really wrong about this. <clears throat> so guys, I made a list. Let's go over it. Dan need a reminder that they are a minor Snyder. Dan, no toes, no shoes, Snyder. Dan, show me your soul or you get no roll, Snyder. Dan, if you want to show, those socks got to go, Snyder. 
Dan show me your feet or you're not airing this week, Snyder. Dan, if you don't show no feet, you're not having no meet and greet, Snyder. So, y'all, y'all, and I'm out, bro.